turn to a story that has been hard for many to take in all across Howard County as neighbors there continue to mourn the life of a 15 year old girl after she was killed in a townhome fire. And tonight, for the first time, we are hearing directly from the family of Katie Chase. WJZ On Your Corner in Columbia, as Christina Mendez continues our coverage on this heartbreaking story, she sat down with a member of Katie's family for an exclusive interview you will only see on CBS News Baltimore. Family says Katie was a bright young woman with the whole world in front of her. Tonight, we're learning the mother of the 15 year old suffered some burns attempting to save her daughter trapped in that room with her family pet. A parent suffering a pain hard to fathom the loss of a child. I know my sister Sue tried to get to Katie and she could not get her out. You know, she tried her best and it just. <laughs> It's heartbreaking. On Wednesday night, Howard County police say 15 year old Katie Chase died in a fire that broke out at this town home in Columbia. Her family tells WJZ her mother and older sister survived. Investigators found the fire to be an accident but did not share details on the ruling. When she was trapped in her room, she did have her one cat with her that met that path with her. I just hope that cat is, you know, still keeping her company. Katie's aunt and godmother, Joanne Ruder, remembers the teen as someone who would always bring a smile to your face. She was an amazing person. Um, she was in band, she was in Girl Scouts, she, they did camping trips, uh, kayaking, I mean, and she loved to bake. She was deaf, she wanted to be a chef. The family's heartbreak is shared by their community members and Katie's classmates at Wild Lake High School, where she was a member of the marching band. Principal Marcy Leonard announced services brought to campus this week to help students and staff cope with their grief. Very, very sad and a real tragedy. Um, I know uh, she'll have many memories to remember Katie by. Everybody had just been gone above and beyond to help her and her daughter and get through this time and it, it's amazing what the community do. Family is now helping to plan final goodbyes. And I wish I could just give her that one, one last hug. There is an online fundraiser that family says will go toward two immediate needs and the first is making arrangements for Katie. The second will be to uplift the surviving family members. I'm reporting for WJZ. I'm Christina Mendez.